Denise Nicholas is an American actress and author best known for her work in television and film. She was born on July 12, 1944, in Detroit, Michigan, USA. Denise Nicholas attended the University of Michigan, where she became involved in theater and began honing her acting skills. She was part of the university's drama program and gained valuable experience in the performing arts. Nicholas started her career in the entertainment industry as a model before transitioning to acting. In the mid-1960s, she began appearing in various television shows and films. One of her early notable roles was in the film Blow Up, 1966, directed by Michelangelo Antonioni. Denise Nicholas rose to prominence through her work on television. One of her most significant roles was as high school teacher Liz McIntyre on the popular television series Room 222, which aired from 1969 to 1974. The show addressed social issues and was well received for its progressive approach. Denise Nicholas played the role of Liz McIntyre in the television series Room 222. The show aired from 1969 to 1974 and was set in Walt Whitman High School, a racially diverse urban school. The title referred to Room 222, which was the classroom where the main characters, including Liz McIntyre, worked. Liz McIntyre, portrayed by Denise Nicholas, was a compassionate and dedicated high school teacher. She served as an English teacher at Walt Whitman High School and played a central role in the lives of the students. The character was known for her warmth, intelligence, and commitment to making a positive impact on her students' lives. Room 222 was groundbreaking for its time, as it addressed social issues and depicted the challenges and dynamics of a diverse school environment. The series tackled topics such as race, integration, and education, providing a socially relevant and progressive narrative. Denise Nicholas's portrayal of Liz McIntyre contributed significantly to the show's success, earning her critical acclaim and a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a television series in 1971. In addition to her television work, Nicholas also had a presence in films. Apart from Blow Up, she appeared in movies such as Let's Do It Again, 1975, and A Piece of the Action, 1977. Denise Nicholas has been known not only for her contributions to the entertainment industry, but also for her activism. She has been involved in civil rights and social justice causes. After achieving success in the 1960s and 1970s, Denise Nicholas continued to work in the entertainment industry with occasional roles in television and film. She also explored other creative outlets, including writing. Here are some of the films in which Denise Nicholas has had notable roles. Blow Up, 1966. Denise Nicholas had an early role in Michelangelo Antonioni's iconic film Blow Up, which is a mystery thriller about a fashion photographer who unwittingly captures a murder on film. Let's do it again. 1975. In this comedy film directed by and starring Sidney Poitier, Denise Nicholas played the role of Beth Foster. The movie also featured Bill Cosby and Sidney Poitier in lead roles. A Piece of the Action, 1977. Denise Nicholas appeared in this crime comedy film directed by and starring Sidney Poitier. The film also featured Bill Cosby and James Earl Jones. Love, Sidney. 1981. While not a movie, Love, Sydney was a TV movie pilot for the series of the same name in which Denise Nicholas played the character Laurie Morgan. She have an estimated net worth of $3 million by 2024. With an illustrious career spanning several years, she has made a strong impact in the realm of television, earning both critical acclaim and a substantial fortune. Hailing from Michigan, Denise Nicholas has graced the screens with her remarkable acting skills, leaving a lasting impression on audiences and establishing herself as a prominent figure in the TV industry. With her incredible talent and continued success, her net worth is expected to grow even further in the coming years. Denise Nicholas living in $2 million mansion. The front door of Denise Nicholas's lavish mansion swings open, revealing a beautifully decorated foyer with marble floors and exquisite artwork. 
A well-equipped kitchen is a necessity for a woman who enjoys the art of cooking. A room designed for tranquility, where I retreat, after a day of hustle and bustle. Living surrounded by beauty is not just a luxury. As we point the camera at the cars, that Denise Nicholas owns at the forefront of Denise Nicholas's vehicular ensemble is the prestigious Mercedes-Benz SL class. This automotive masterpiece is a symbol of sophistication with a price tag of approximately $110,000 behind the wheel of this beauty. Drivers experience a harmonious blend of power and elegance. The SL class is renowned for its sleek design, cutting edge technology and a robust engine that propels it from zero to 60 memming pamp in just a matter of seconds. Whether cruising down city streets or navigating open highways, the SL class delivers a driving experience that seamlessly combines luxury and performance securing the second spot in Dennis Nicholas's garage is the impressive BMW M6 a car valued at around around 48 i thousand. The BMW M6 is a dynamic expression of precision engineering and contemporary design, boasting a sporty yet refined exterior. This model captivates with its aerodynamic silhouette. Under the hood, the M6 houses a potent engine delivering a thrilling driving experience inside the cabin, is a haven of comfort and cutting-edge technology with its distinctive features and a price point that reflects both quality and affordability. The BMW M6 is a choice that strikes a balance between performance and practicality. Finally, the PESTA resistance of Denise Nicholas's automobile collection is the opulent Rolls-Royce Phantom commanding an awe-inspiring price of about $450,000. The Phantom is not just a car, it's a statement of luxury and prestige. This regal vehicle is handcrafted to perfection, with meticulous attention to detail evident in every curve and contour. The interior is a sanctuary, are of unparalleled comfort, featuring sumptuous materials and state-of-the-art technology powered by a formidable engine, the Phantom glides on the road with unparalleled grace and authority, making a bold impression wherever it goes. To own a Rolls-Royce Phantom is to possess a symbol of automotive excellence and unmatched refinement. As we continue to follow, the narrative of her extraordinary collection, the allure of these cars becomes not just a reflection of wealth, but a celebration of the artistry and engineering prowess that defines the world of luxury automobiles. Denise Nicholas has been married three times. Denise Nicholas has been married multiple times. Denise Nicholas was married to Gilbert Moses for two years. The pair started dating in 1963. They tied the knot in the same year. They later separated in 1965. Later, she married American singer Bill Withers. The marriage ceremony took place on 17th of January, 1973. The couple separated later in 1974. Denise married former football player and CBS sports anchor Jim Hill on 14th of February, 1981. The relationship didn't work out, and hence they separated in 1984. Denise is currently believed to be single. Denise Nicholas has no children of her own at the moment. Denise revealed in an interview in December 2017 that her dream was to become a writer. She left acting to return to school for writing courses. She started her writing career with TV scripts. She eventually wrote the novel Freshwater Road, which won the prestigious Zora Neale Hurston Richard Wright Award for debut fiction in 2006. Before she wanted to be a writer, she also aspired to become a lawyer. She revealed she went into the arts during the civil rights movement, saying, My change of heart direction about my life happened over time. The majority of that pivotal time was during the civil rights movement, where I worked with the Free Southern Theater, and that changed everything. I barely stepped onto the campus of Tulane. We were far too busy traveling around Mississippi, presenting plays and having discussions with the people there who were touched, and in some cases, influenced by the civil rights movement. When I joined that theater early in 1964, I was still at the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. 
Once I arrived in Mississippi in June and began my apprenticeship with the Free Southern Theater, I was hooked. As far as law and acting, there's an odd connection. If you plan on becoming a trial lawyer, it's sort of performance art and demands a level of theatricality. Otherwise, the jurors will find themselves nodding. The best lawyers are performers as well, explained Denise. She revealed that she retired from acting to study writing and to write, professionally because her secret ambition was to write. She said, I'm so happy this exploded and was brought into the sunlight. It's all about power, who's got it and who wants it. I've had my butt grabbed on the set by a director who just happened to be walking behind me. There have been other instances that terrified me, not all of them in the Hollywood moda, let it all end. The stunning former actress also co-wrote a play for the University of Missouri called Letters from Freedom Summer. She dreams of publishing another novel before her brains turn to mush. When I retired from acting to study writing, I knew in my heart of hearts that I was done with acting, said Denise, 74.